Okay, so today I'm going to show you eight cool new styles to wear back to school. So this is number one, and as you can see, they're cropped off flower pink, gray, and black pants, or capris, and I'm wearing some ankle um, sandals, which are black and they have studs on them, and this is just a um, tee that I found, and it has a little tiger on it. I just thought it was pretty cute, so this is number one. So this is number two. This is just a cute gray mini skirt that is, um, can't think of the word, crinkle in the front with a cute tank that is, that goes perfectly with this. And then this is the back and I'm also wearing some thong sandals with, um, jewelry, not jewelry. Um, just the bottom two. So this is number two. On number two.
Alright guys, this is number three. Um, I'm wearing some battered up um, high rise, high waist shorts and I'm wearing a really cute crop top that has an opening in the back which I thought was really cute. And then I'm wearing the same sandals which go perfectly with this outfit. So yeah, this is number three and on to number four. This is number four. Um, I'm wearing some cute shorts that have um, an old pattern on them. And then I'm wearing a white um, see-through top, which has a hole and a in the back. And, um, you know, this shirt can pretty much go with any type of shorts you want. I just thought it looked real cute with these shorts. Um, I'm wearing the same sandals as I did last time, and okay, that's number four on the number five. So this is number five. Um, I'm wearing the same sandals with a lace and fringe shirt and some cute short shorts which have hearts on them. Um, and that's number five on the number six.
from the six. I just found some old leggings that I have not worn in a while. But they still fit. They have they have some studs on the side. Um found this shirt that is pretty cute and I put them along and they matched almost perfectly. And and it's long in the back. And I'm wearing the same sandals that um with the black zip ups with the studs around the ankles. So this is number six. I'll show you that for the back one more time. And this is person personally one of my favorites. On number seven. Alright, so this is number seven. Um, it's a sh gray shirt with some sequins at the top. Um, a cute pair of patched short shorts. And I call these saddle boots, not saddle shoes. Um, they were actually... I found them at Aeropostale, and I just thought they were the cutest things in the world. So, um, they have studs. I don't know why I'm in love with studs. I just made them. I, they have to be on everything. Um, they're on the toe and the heel, and they're lace up. Um, so yeah, this is a really cute outfit that I wore to school one time and my friends just went crazy. They they loved it so much. So yeah, on the number eight.
Okay, this one's last because they're skinny jeans and you know how hard it is to get into skinny jeans. All you girls out there. So that's the reason I saved this for last. So this is number eight. It's just some simple skinny jeans that it took about um, ten minutes to fit into. <laughs> and um, a striped gray and white top that has crossing that crosses in the back and comes together and um, some different thongs, thong sandals. And um, you know, this would be a thing to wear to um, end fall. Like if you wear like a jean jacket over it or something like that, I always wear it with a jean jacket. But this time it's during the summer, so I just thought I'd show you without the jean jacket. And um, I don't know for some of you, you have rules at school where your shorts have to be all the way down to your fingertips or to your wrists or thumbs. I'm not sure what rules you have or no spaghetti straps. But um, our school doesn't necessarily have those rules. Um, we we kind of just wear what we want. I mean, well, we do have the rule where you can't wear spaghetti straps, but um, they have to be like two fingers wide. And so, if like you're one of those people who goes to a school where you have to have them down to your fingertips. It's okay because they still have sh cute shorts in stores that can go down to your fingertips or maybe a, a little below. Um, so yeah, just you know, do what you want with your own style. It's it's okay. You just have to be you. This is my style. This is what I like to wear. Stuff like this. And my friends are always asking me tips on what to wear at school. Like every morning I get texts saying, hey, do you know what I should wear? What should I wear today so that we match? You know, stuff like that. And um, it's just, I just say, you know, wear whatever you want. You can't be the same as everyone else. You have to be different. Well, you don't have to be different. You just have to be yourself. So um, that's what I have to say to you guys. Just be yourself, wear your own style, and you'll be good for school. So, yeah, don't forget to subscribe and like. So, bye.